Good afternoon again. So now we're going to end up the session by talking about the cartridge filtration uh, that we did not talk about when we talked about the filtration in general. The cartridge filtration could be starting from a like, single cartridge. Could be two, three, four, six, eight, so it goes up to tons of cartridges, like all the way to maybe 3,000 gallons per minute. So, so the inlet and the outlet would be about uh, maybe 10 inch. So, so this is generally how, how something like this would look like. That's, that's in case of the stainless steel cartridge. Now, those are the industrial type with the stainless steel, stainless steel cartridge holder. Or what we prefer always to, to, to sell, not much really difference in cost between the 304 and the 316. We always prefer to sell the 316. In case if there is a chlorine in the water, 316 would live more and would be more rigid and you know handle more, you know, worse quality water. Now, quickly, like the cartridge filters, before we, we talk about the media inside the cartridge housing, we want to talk a little bit about the different types of cartridge housing. Could be like non non-metallic, they could be in a single cartridge, polypropylene, they could be like two and a half by ten inch. In the water treatment terminology, the cartridges they come mostly like two and a half inch diameter by let's say ten inch multiples. So either ten or twenty or thirty or forty. Some manufacturers would use up to 50 inch, but the common is like either 10 or 20 or 30 or 40. Now there are like two sizes that they are a little bit odd and they're becoming really common. The one they say is like a big blue size. They're four and a half inch by 10 or four and a half inch by 20. And those can be used in a single housing, either 10 or 20, which is what we call the big blue size. The, 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 the cartridge housings itself, like we said, like it could be polyethylene, uh, polypropylene, sorry, or it could be stainless steel or it could be fiberglass. We're going to talk today fiberglass application mostly for seawater applications because you don't want to use stainless steel housings for seawater. It's going to corrode it quickly. Now for small seawater application, we can use the, the small big blue that we set up, the non-metallic ones, the polypropylene. So we're going to talk a little bit about the, the stainless steel, the one we recommend always to be in 316. They, they come from sizes like uh, like single single cartridge all the way to 600 of those cartridges. Like what we mentioned, the 600, it has uh, 150 cartridges of the 40 inch length <coughs> and it goes up to 3,000 gallons per minute. Applications for, for those, it could be like for like uh, a very good application is the treatment for the reverse response systems or the ion exchange system. Now, another application could be like cork for the car washes, for the beverage industries, for the food service, hospitals, bottled water applications, and for any different process water that they need in the manufacturing facilities. Those are available in different connections, could be, you know, threaded as well as, small as one inch, two inch, those are MPT sizes or uh, configuration, and then we can go from like uh, three inch connection flange all the way up to 10 or 12 inches connection. It depends on the application. Now, the, the media, the different media that we can fit inside, like this is something like what we see here. That's the, the five micron standard polypropylene cartridges. Those are the sponge side. And they can, uh, this is a very good cartridge uh, as a polypropylene, polypropylene sediment rejection or filtration. They, they, they are available from 1 micron, 3, 5, 10, 25, 50, 80, up to 100 microns. So with, with, with no problem to, to you know, just to use it and dispose it after that. And th the good thing about those, they come as a multi-depth. When I say multi-depth means, uh, like, if we look at the cartridge itself, on the top, as a top view, now that's the outer diameter, like what we mentioned. It's about two and a half inch diameter. And there is like an opening inside. And that's like what we mentioned, this is the top view. And that's the cartridge, how it looks like. <coughs> this is about, about 10 inch. The reason why I'm saying about because some manufacturers 
to do it nine and three quarter. Some people they do it nine and seven eight. Some people they will do it ten inch. It depends. Now that's only for the single. Now if you're gonna go for the thirty inch or forty inch, they come exactly forty inch and thirty inch. So, but the problem is there is a variation between the ten inch in in the ten inch and the twenty inch size. Some of them they come nine and seven eighths. That's what we call the amateur style, and the other one is nine and three quarter, which is the 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 cuneus style. Now, uh, the cartridge is still like what you mentioned about the multi depth. So, now let's assume we're talking about 25, 25 micron cartridge filtration rate. That means that the cartridge here should give you like, anything bigger than the 25 micron, the cartridge should capture it, isn't it? Block it. Shouldn't go through. Anything smaller than 25 micron, most probably is going to pass through. That's why we say 25 micron. Now, usually the good cartridge is, is like, uh, that's where the water is going to hit the cartridge first, isn't it? That's the bad water. So what it does is that that area which is outside, if that cartridge is 25, it would start with 50 micron. It doesn't start with 25 micron. And the deeper you go inside, another layer, it's going to be finer filtration, maybe like 35 micron. And when you reach to the last core or the last layer, it's about 25 micron. Same thing applies for 5 micron cartridge. Start with the 20, 10, then you go to the 5 micron. Why do we do something like this? When you see a multi depth or, or, or different layer cartridges? Because if you are doing something like this as a 25 micron and you want to do all the layers to be 25 micron, there is no benefit for the inner medium. It's got to block everything, so you got to look at the cartridge from inside, it's still clean. So they didn't even reach the water, the, the dirt. So all the dirt is accumulated in the outer layer. So that's why when we, you know, recommend using the multi depth because you get a better filtration. And the cartridge is going to live longer, and you're going to get a better quality. Now that's one of the media that we're talking about, which is the sediment filtration using the spinal or full propylene cartridges. Now, some other sediment cartridges like, uh, you know, like uh, that you can find in the market besides that. You have the string. The string is like, they could be available from the kinds or the polypropylenes, or you can get them from different types, natural kind or industrial kind or bleach kind. So there's a lot of different medias, but the most common one nowadays, which is, it, it really does really, really good job, is the, the spun time that you can use for like a lot of different applications. Those cartridges are like NSF approved, so they're very good for drinking applications and RO2. Uh, question there. Are this the same system that we find in household uh, filtrations that are sold? The household filtration, the question is like uh, if those are the same cartridges that you find for the under sink. Yeah, the that, that you can get it. see under sink in some houses. It depends, like some of them they sell only filters, some of them sell Filters combined with the reverse osmosis. The, yeah, in both cases, yes, you have to use this one to, to filter the water before it goes to the reverse osmosis or before you use it for something else. Now, usually in a typical reverse osmosis under sink RO, you have five micron, then a carbon filter, then some people, they would add another carbon, and then you would go to the membrane. Sediment filter would remove, would filter the water down to five micron, then you want to remove the chlorine, and then you want to go to the membrane. Yes, to answer your question, it is the same mechanism, same terminology, same theory. Another media, which is the same related to what we said, mm -hmm. another media that we can use in those filters is the carbon cartridges. Again, carbon media is good to remove chlorine, organic, it removes bad smell, taste, and odor. Now, this is also that we forgot to talk about. This is another like type of uh, cartridge that removes the uh, sediment, which is the pleated cellulose. The pleated type is, it's, it's more expensive, but I mean, you can wash it two or three times. You can take them out, wash them with the hose, and you can use it again. So that's our the pleated cartridges. Now, the last thing for like small sizes, some people, they would use those housings for ion exchange resin. That means if you have a small lab, 
and you wanna you wanna only get like maybe two three gallons every day of DI water. DI means has a very low TDS and the conductivity is really really low. Like in the research institutes or the universities, the colleges, the high schools, they would show the students do some some chemical reaction. So they would need something like this. So yes, you can have like uh, have like some DI cartridges or sulfate cartridges in those housings that we talked about. Those are called like standard housing. It could be in 10 inch or 20 inch. Usually the inlet and the outlet is about three quarter inch. And this is a big blue style, which is about 10 inch by four and a half, 20 inch by four and a half. And yeah, you can use the same DI or some cartridge or the cinema or the carbon in both styles. Now we come to an end of ending that uh, discussion about the cartridge filter housings and We'll access to questions later. Thank you.